And, and it just happens that way. And, you know, and it's all, it all comes with a mind, spirit, body. You know, and you gotta, you got to allow that to be one. You know, we've separated ourselves against ourselves in so many different ways. And, uh, you know, take circumcision, for, for instance. You know, I mean, uh, that stuff is wrong. You know, I mean, what, what are you doing to little kids when they're born? I mean, holding them down and cutting off their weenuses? I mean, come on. That, that just sounds bad. I mean, you know, get none, 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 you know, you know, to endure something like that is even worse, you know. So, I mean, it not only does it create a psychological problem, you know, with children who've been circumcised, you know, but it also, like, you know, creates trust issues between the mother, you know, and the child because the child, you know, sees their mother as God. I mean, really, that's their only source of life from the very beginning. And so when they're born, the first thing that happens is their mother allows them to, to be strapped and held down and somebody to take a sharp blade and cut their flesh, you know, I mean, I don't know, it just makes sense, you know, and, and they're also connecting circumcision to misogyny, uh, which is, you know, to hate, hating your mother or hating women, you know, and also the lack of bonding later on in life, so you lose the bond with your mother as a child when you're first born, and then also later on in life when you try to have a relationship with a woman, is there's trust issues, it's psychological, it's deep down, it's not something, hey, I think I'm going to, I'm not going to trust women ever again, it's just something inside your head, you know, it said the first five years of your life are the most forming and shaping of your of the rest of your life they're the most important part of your life and we're talking about the, the freshly fresh moment you're born like days within your the days the moment you were born they they t do this to to the male children in America and in all and across the world in certain places but there's also other cultures and countries that it's unheard of that you know to 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 mutilate a child's freshly born body you know or Take a perfectly healthy organ and and uh, and cut a piece of it off, you know, to prevent something that probably would never have happened in the first place, you know. And there's documented proof. There's people out there right now who's had their 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 penises just like it was when they were born their whole life, and they never had health problems. And you know, the misunderstanding with the circumcision is people think it's just a useless piece of skin hanging there, but it's not. It's actually more skin. Your your body. The penis extends out, and that skin there, uh, you know, unfolds and allows your penis to extend out further. Plus, the blood veins that are removed, as well as three different glands, are you know amputated. You know, it's, that stuff is you know it, that stuff's crazy. I don't understand why they're doing that. You know, I mean, hey, don't be cutting on people's ki kids anymore. You know, let those kids have a chance to like enjoy that thing before you cut it off. Jeez. I mean, don't even cut it off ever. I mean, what's the problem, you know? It's not even a question of, like, you know, right and wrong. I mean, infants have rights, you know? This is about, you know, human rights issue. This is an infant human rights. And, in the, and infant, infants have just as many rights as, as the rest of us, you know, just because they're, they can't vocalize those rights doesn't mean that, that we're, a, a, you know, can go over and, 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 and betray their trust.